You know what? It's funny. I'm going to talk for a little while. Um, I made a video earlier this morning. I didn't upload on YouTube. But uh, what I'm going to do is going to walk a little bit because it's a wonderful view of something. Here, I'm going to turn this around. There is a nice view of the uh, Sears Tower. I still, I still like to refer to it as the Sears Tower. <laughs> I know it technically is the Willis Tower, the tallest building in the United States. And this building right here is the I don't know what it is building. <laughs> but this is all on the, uh, this is the campus of the University of Illinois at Chicago. This is where I work, by the way. I work here at the University of Illinois at Chicago, the largest university in the city of Chicago. <laughs> Not in the world, of course. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this video. i talk about different things. There's a squirrel over there. I don't know if you can see him. He's running somewhere. But uh, this traffic. Beautiful campus. Beautiful scenery. That's the, I think that's the, the science and engineering building over there. You know. um, I was thinking about something today. Very interesting stuff. You know, a thought occurred to me about something. An idea had occurred to me. About, you know, how do we lie to ourselves? About people lying to themselves about things. And about the subconscious. You know, it occurred to me, Freud is right, there is such a thing as a subconscious. Because a lot of times we do things and we don't even think about what we're doing. You know, I was thinking about people I know who are hypocrites. You know, I think we all kind of, we have to kind of guard against being hypocrites. Because before I start criticizing other people, I have to think about what I'm doing. Am I doing the same things I'm criticizing other people for doing? And is that fair? You know, some things we can't help but do. One thing I learned, for example, in life is none of us can avoid lying. We all tell lies. There's nobody who doesn't tell a lie. But you try to be as honest as you can. You try not to tell so many lies. You try to be a truthful person and, you know, do that. When I say things on YouTube, I say things to the best of my ability. To, I try to be as truthful as I can. You know, sometimes I may say things that you look at a video or you look at something I say, and I might contradict myself. And if I do, I do. And I look back and I'll say, well, let me reconcile that. Because sometimes it isn't a contradiction, but it's sometimes there are different aspects of things that seem contradictory. And so I try to reconcile those differences. You know, and that's what I do. Now, it's funny how you get people who want to nitpick over things. They want to say something, they look at a thing, and then they nitpick. I'm being looked at and stared at, so I don't care. <laughs> but people nitpick about stuff. They get into this thing, I'm going to walk around a little bit, you know, about things that you do. They look at some thing you say. That's why I was made that video about people who nitpick, because you get these people who are looking for something. And I'm thinking to myself, why would people do that? Why do people do stuff like that? Why do they have to nitpick about some little detail of something you said or something you did. You know, not major stuff, not some big thing. I'm not a charlatan. I'm not trying to solicit money from people on YouTube or try to get somebody to join some kind of cult or anything. I'm just a guy with an opinion and a camera. And I just express what I think. If I, You know, I look at things in the world and I say what I think. And then I try to refine it. I try to come up with a better way of saying it. Because many of my videos, I'm just saying almost the same things. I even admit that. But I'm just trying to come up with better and clearer ways of saying things. So, I'm just thinking. I just, I just learned, I think this is true for everybody who makes videos. You have to just sometimes ignore people who nitpick over things. Because the people who do that from now on, before I used to respond to them, and maybe I used to think, well, maybe they don't understand what I'm saying. So I tried to clarify things, but then it became clear after a while. There's some people who, it, they're not, it isn't that they don't understand, that they really do have some, I guess, agenda. <laughs> you know, they, they really do, they have, to, they have to clarify the air 
they have to make it so that the world is free from people who give them false information, false profits or whatever. And to me, that's a bunch of bullshit, really, when you get down to it. 